welcome back to Yvette's Live. So we are here at Trader Joe's. We are here for the first time. So let's see how it goes. The, the entrance was pretty luxurious here. It's pretty nice. Uh, we won't show you the apartments or anything as people live in the complex right above it. Mm -hmm. um, but it's a really nice area. Yeah. But let's just walk in. Dante's first Trader Joe's trip. <laughs> so this is our cart so far. Hey guys! So I already said hello in the beginning of the video when I was walking all shy into Trader Joe's trying to show you guys a little bit of a yeah. visit that we had. But we are here to show you our groceries. We do have quite a bit. So... We need to get right to this video because we have a good amount of things to show you guys. Let's get it going. Let's do it. I'll put this on here. Hey, Dante. Be nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to order what's in front of us. So. so the first thing we did get is this just chicken and it's just chicken breast with virgin olive oil, salt and pepper. It's already heated and you could just, I mean like, cook but you could just heat it up and put it on your food so this is kind of clutch you know when you're in a rush let's do what's behind the camera over here we do have some milk we do use two percent milk here well mainly Dante I don't really drink milk we're going through the boring stuff first you know we do have some orange juice it's a must it's really good for when you take it with your vitamins you wanted to talk about these bananas. Oh yeah, so they're uh, organic bananas and they were 25 cents a pound. So that's one thing I was talking about is I didn't expect Trader Joe's to be cheap. Yeah. Um, yeah, so for what it is, it's cheap and I, um, everything is Trader Joe's brand, so yeah. And if Ambrose is people. going over like some of the stuff and saying like I already said, it's because we filmed this video <laughs> once but we are having camera difficulties. So we filmed the whole thing and now we're refilming it again, so. That's fun. <laughs> Up next, I do have this orange chicken bowl. So I wanted to try this today because I haven't really ate. So I was like, you know what? Sure, let's try it. So I'm going to try this today and let's see how it goes. Two mangoes. Yummy. And your little milkshake right there too. Your little. I'm almond. saving this one for last. Oh. We have a Calabrian chili spicy pasta sauce. I'm a mm. good Italian cook and stuff right there. Yes, I'm actually really excited to try this one. I think one of the eggs cracked. It did? No, I, maybe the bottom one, like the, the thing was wet. We'll see. Oh, no, I think survived. it was the milk. Probably. The milk is like some of it's out. Yeah. So I think it was leaking. Yeah, the milk leaked. But we do have... Two dozen eggs. We do eat a lot of eggs here, so. Great egg, large white ones. Ooh. Yes, we always have eggs in the house. Oops. Uh, we got some gnocchi too. Can you angle it? Casio Pepe style. If you know, you know, frozen. I've never tried this. No, that's gnocchi in general. Oh, because you always have the vodka sauce along with me. Yeah, when we go to Maji. And then I did get like, it's a raw tri colored. Uh, like this non-frozen one, mini Nokis. I've never had mini. They so. look so cute. These are yummy. Always must have. We do have some strawberries. These are not organic. The organic ones did cost way more. But we did get organic blueberries. We always have blueberries at the house because that's little Dante's favorite. Like Dante can eat like half of this in one sitting. Like no joke. It's crazy. Then we do have this. It's a chocolate and peanut butter protein bar, which I've never had because, we, yeah, so we have never been to Trader Joe's before. So this is our first time with all of this. So it's a pretty exciting experience. And we had one like 10 it. minutes away. So surprisingly. Yeah, <laughs> because they actually opened one near, near us, yeah. which is crazy. But yeah, so I got these just, you know, when you're in a rush and you need them in the morning. I try not to eat protein bar bars for breakfast because that's not good. And then we did try this already. These are like buttered cookies filled with buttercream, frosting, and sprinkles, which I'll show you guys what they look like. The picture does not look like the food though. 
Oh, it looks like Ambrose tried it too. Yeah, I did. <laughs> That's so I this know is they're the good. cookie. We also tried these earlier. Um, Chile mango slices. You know, you know. Yes. They're decent. So these are the cookies. Show them the mango slices. I had to try them. And I did have one, but I'll take another bite for you guys. And... <laughs> when I tried it, I was disappointed. Because... Just, these don't beat the flea market ones. At all. You could tell they add some sugar in here. Like a whole 26 grams of sugar. But, like, you could definitely taste, taste like, the chili powder. Like, the plain chili powder, so. Yeah, she tried to say they were decent, but to me they were pretty mid, though, so. Yeah. yeah, I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought. Two of these. So these ones are just cauliflower rice. Rice cauliflower. Yummy. Cauliflower and broccoli is my favorite vegetable, so that's why... A lot of times. Unfortunately, I didn't find cauliflower pizza. I was really hoping to find cauliflower pizza, but I didn't find any. Ambrose picked this one up right now. So this one's the crunchy chili onion. This one is like super popular on TikTok. So honestly, I went to Trader Joe's today just because I was on TikTok. <laughs> yes. Oh, we'll go through this one right now. I did want to show this one though. Because I thought this packaging was, like, pretty freaking cool. I guess it's, like, a tangy sauce. Who knows? Maybe it's kind of, kind of like, the In-N-Out sauce. What is it called? So, Thousand Island? Yeah. Uh, I was thinking, like, some type of Chick-fil-A sauce or something with some spice. Let's try it. I would assume it's good with chicken. Smell test. No, it's literally In-N-Out sauce. Mm, oh, yeah. No, this good. tastes exactly like spread. Yeah. Dupes. So get this. This tastes exactly like spread. That's so good. Man, there's so much options. I have not ate. So I'm like, what should I eat right now? Because all of this looks so good. We do have some waffle fries. Yum. And we did need those waffle fries because... We got some pita bread, and what do you put inside of this pita bread? Let them know, let them know. All right, we have some, basically it's just the meat for it, just, but they labeled it as traditional high row sandwich meat. Yes, yeah, so this one says it is seasoned beef and lamb slices. They're ready to go, and this stuff's pretty cheap, so I mean, why not? Yeah, Unless and that would lead us to meat. getting this sauce right here. We and we do have meat. our other meats, wait. <laughs> the other meats we could put in there. Where is it? We do have the pollo asado. This one's another pretty popular one, I feel. I think there was another one that's like really popular, but this one's one of them. Yellow tag pollo asado one. We do have the carne asada. So that one was chicken, this one is beef. And the last one that we did get is the one that's kind of like bulgogi. What is this one? Um, it, it, it's a beef bulgogi, but they labeled it bull kogi. I don't know why it's spelled that way. But it's just beef short ribs with bulgogi sauce. So. so we got three different kinds to try. So we will be filming some videos of the foods that we make with our Trader Joe's items. So stay tuned for that for sure. I don't think I showed these. We got some tater tots. I don't know when's the last time I had tater tots, but I'm excited for those. I mean, I think I've said sure, I'm excited too, for everything. Right? Yeah, yeah so. of course. Show them up. Show them and up. the frozen, just unmarinated Korean bone and beef short ribs. So, you know, you could do are the Hawaiian style. Yeah, these are just unmarinated. So that's what no, I was... it, it says it contains up to 9% marinade. Oh, yeah, they say Korean style. I didn't see that. <laughs> uh, well, that's cool, then. No, I'm excited for these. Yeah. I wanted to put my own little sauce on it. It's cool. just 
Next to Mexican food, my favorite food is Korean food. So that that explains what we have on the table. She got some Mediterranean food too, though. <laughs> It's just the, what is it called? Euros. Euros? I think they're called Hyros. Hyros? Yeah. Hyros, Gyros. You guys know what I'm talking about. So don't judge me. You know exactly what I'm talking about. They're just so expensive to buy in a store. So we figured, you know what, like, go to Trader Joe's, buy the things to make them, and then we could just make them, you know? Instead of, like, paying, what, $15, $20 for one euro gyro yeah Hyrule. i mean granted they were good they were a good size so it's yeah good. still pricey but then we got these turkey burgers which is a great choice you could now i guess pair them with this one and i just put mine on keto bread or the low calorie bread so this is yummy what do we have next we'll reach over here and show them this Okay. So they have a, a bevy of different dips, sauces, whatever, but like she did end up choosing a basic s salsa verde, so it is what it is. I did want like a dip, like not hummus, so we did try these. These taste exactly like Fritos. Mm -mm -mm. Like... I think I want to go get guacamole and make some just to eat these with it because they're so good. We got two bags of some salad, Caesar, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. Caesar salad kit. This Organic. Trader Joe's brown, so good to go. Yeah, Caesar salads are essentials in our house also. And another TikTok famous ready Whatever Yvette wants to call it, here it is, got a dose of them. It's just... What do you need? Come I've on. heard, like, really good things about these, too. It does not look good like that, honestly. Nah. Well, now I know <laughs> Don't show them that. What's wrong? What's wrong, Dante? What's wrong? You didn't like your dad, Ella. Something scared him. You okay? Mom? Mom? Okay, okay big guy's okay? okay. He's okay. Okay. He just never freaks out like that. So that was kind of weird. You're okay, Papa. Hopefully for video content, he saw a ghost or something cool happened. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> That'd be scary. Look, he's still upset. What's wrong, baby? He probably just didn't like the way I laughed. It probably surprised him. Man, I don't either. Yeah, it probably okay. sounded like the horse voice. Okay, literally. Don't show them that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll save it for a different video. A sound that makes Dante scared. But... No, that's like child abuse. <laughs> don't show them that. It's not. <laughs> I found it out on a reel that like it freaked him out because it turned him into a horse and like he panicked. Yeah. But it's just a filter. Yes. But, where's the other one? The last one we have right here. Oh no, this is not the last one we have. This is the second to last one we have. This is the last one. <laughs> Our camera's on it. <laughs> but, this is the vanilla almond spiced chai. Oh, it's a protein smoothie with chai tea, almond, coconut cream, and an exotic spice blend non-dairy vegan so this one's 320 calories 30 grams of sugar oating hell no but i'm gonna try it this is what it is let's give it a taste test right now for the viewers. we try those or you don't want to try it uh, you have to use it within four days i don't, I don't think you know. mm -mm. I, won't, I won't open it Okay, this is disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> Did you shake it first? I think I shook it enough. I mean, I think it's definitely just chai. So I expected something, like, different. I don't know what I expected. Yeah, I thought it would taste better. Too. 
Like it tastes good, it's just kind of bland. Yeah. Not worth the 30 grams of sugar. So this is going to be for Ambrose because Ambrose eats about anything. So. But I think that's it. Should we try that? Yeah, let's give this a try because I'm hungry. Does this one expire? Okay. Um, no, no not these. Say. That's a regular salsa. It's just this one said that it expired in four days. So. It looks like Ambrose enjoyed those Frito looking chip ones too. It was a. Uh, gonna boil a Trader Joe butter or what's going on? Let's see. Who has the best salsa over? How <laughs> crazy. My mom. <laughs> I like the hint of limon, but yeah, it's not good like that. For the price, they have good groceries, though. I mean, that's just good dip right there. Mm. It's cool. You can bring that to a party or something. For, you know. I'm not going to say that. <laughs> he said it. No, I was going to say something else, but I'm not going to say that, though. I'm going to get canceled. Honestly, cancel Ambrose. Just know you should cancel him. No, I was going to say something else. Yep. Mm. The G word, homie. I think I know what you're gonna say, but I'll ask you later. <laughs> mm. Dante vape planning in the background. Those little dippers with this is so good. It's not spicy or anything, mm -hmm. but it has like a hint of limon, and it's like I'm best. It's with. definitely not giving like tomate or salsa, salsa verde. No. Now we're here, kind of just chit chatting with you guys, dipping some chips and salsa. Mm. Gotta make some videos cooking some of this stuff too, though, because mm -hmm. we'll be back just like the Ross Halls and certain other halls and crumble videos, or I think we might clump everything into some type of playlist for you guys, so you guys can just crank out our videos at work. I know, you know. <laughs> you know the vibes. Mm -hmm. mm. But... After these two bites, we're gonna close out the video because you should definitely go and make something to eat. Or since we bought groceries, we should go out to eat. I'm kidding. No, these are actually like groceries that we can just cook. <laughs> we don't have to make it, make it. So. But this is actually the last one. Oh yeah. This is some um, a three pack of jasmine rice, and you could just pop it in the microwave, which I think is like pretty dope for like when you're in a rush and like you don't have time to make like actual rice. Which I know it doesn't take too long, but you know you have busy days. We all have busy days, so don't be judgmental. Like, just learn and move forward, you know. And yeah, so I think we got some pretty good stuff. What do you think? Yeah. Um. What do you want to talk about the pricing? It was around two hundred bucks for everything. Yeah, it is a good amount of food, but when you break down the cost of everything individually, like some of the meats were less than five bucks. Mm -hmm. We're like, you know, pound, pound and a half portion worth of meat. So I mean. He's lying about them being like five bucks because this thing was $20. Well, how much was, I mean. No, nah, he's capping. But definitely like, I feel like some stuff, people say that it's more expensive than what it is because they're like so used to shopping at their their like own places like, yeah. wasn't this like five bucks you have the receipt <laughs> also like ambrose said i look like an egg today <laughs> because my hair's in the bud yeah so those little slices were 4.69 well these ones were 4.69 yeah so like like the the birrias were only 7.99 for those packages but yeah, I mean, I not think bad. depending on what you get, you know, you'll see the prices. We, we're we not going to go down the list. Yeah. It was, yeah, $200. So it's quite a, ma a good amount of stuff, I feel like. So you will you guys could let me know if you've been to Trader Joe's, what you buy. What's your favorite thing? Because I'm a new Trader Joe's girl, and I think I will continue to go. I really enjoyed it, and, like, it's such a vibe in there. I really, like, had a good time in Trader Joe's, and, like, people yeah. just, like, look so happy shopping around, you know what I mean? Yeah. So we'll definitely be back, but Two we're going to close out $2 for that bunch of bananas. That's crazy, actually. Yeah. 
organic bananas. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. But we'll definitely catch you guys in the next video. Stay tuned. We will be cooking some stuff. I don't know in order what we will be posting yet because I still haven't filled out my ca my calendar, which you guys have maybe already seen in my Alboniga video that we do have a YouTube calendar so we know what we're posting, what days, and what kind of content. So, yeah. This is... A lot of our stuff is already like pre-filmed, so we don't know what order we're posting it in. <laughs> but we'll catch you guys on the next video. What should you do? Like, comment, subscribe, share, favorite. Okay, I'll go in some you think we should know. Follow our socials, you know, the drill. Yeah, just please make sure you subscribe. We appreciate the support. We Look love you. We see you guys. <laughs> And thank you for the people that consistently comment on our videos. I enjoy talking to you guys. And we'll catch you in the next video.